Hey guys, it's your boy Matty P and welcome back to another video. Uh, today we've got something interesting. It's one of many things I bought from from an exotic food supermarket. Or you could argue just a fresh food supermarket. Um, I've got some, I've some bread. Now this is the Bread in common brand bread. It's about five dollars, so not terrible for a loaf of bread. Maybe even not too bad for the quality it is and the size of the loaf you get. So, so far, I'm going to give that probably a seven out of ten price-wise. Now, nutritionally, I mean, it's got a lot of protein in it. About thirty-seven point two grams of protein. Um, 4.8 grams of fat, of which only 1.2 grams of it's saturated. Uh, it has got a fair bit of sodium and carbohydrates in it, but, I mean, you'd expect that with bread. So nutritionally, I'll give that a 7 as well. And for authenticity, this is a pretty good brand. This is pretty, pretty nice brand of bread. I found this in Growers Lane. I think this is Subiaco. And, uh, yeah, let's get into it, guys. I mean, it looks pretty good. I, mean, I don't want to take it all, all out of the wrapper yet. Um, but, as you can see, it looks pretty good. It looks nice and fresh. Nice and fresh. It is a wood fire long fer ferment white common loaf, as you can see on there. So that's pretty good. And um, yeah, let's get into it. Let's open up the bread. Just cut it a little bit of an open because I don't want to open it. I want to keep, save a little bit. Get it on the plate. Now let's try and slice. Ooh, that's looking good, guys. There's holes in it and everything. Holes in bread is good. That means that's where all the bread has expanded. The air bubbles in it have expanded it and made it nice. And that's, that's usually a hint the bread's going to be good. Look at how crispy that outside is. Oh, guys, this is looking so good. That's easily a 10, looks-wise. Um, oh, that does have a nice wood-fired smell to it. Nice burnt smell. I can't say I've ever tried wood-fired... Oh, I would have tried wood fried bread before. Um, I still haven't tried it in a while. Um, yeah, that's looking pretty good, guys. It smells good. Mm, it's got a nice, dry, sharp, fermented smell. I like that. It's a 10 as well. Let's give it a try with some butter. Let's, you know, let's slice a little bit of it a bit more first. But... That is looking good, guys. Actually, I'll try it without the butter first to get a better idea what it tastes like. It's nice and smooth. Mm, now let's try another sauce and butter. I like the crust in it, it's just a bit hard. I, well, I always eat the crust, it's just, it's hard to butter them. So, let's butter this piece. It's like, it has a mellow ta taste to it, like it's, it's really nice and smooth.
Mm. Some mellow, tangy, fluffy, and some rich. Very smooth. I was expecting it to be like sour and, and pungent, but mm, it's not. It's actually really smooth. Mm. Now I'm getting a hint of that. As you eat more of the crust, as I'm eating more of the crust, I get that wood fired taste now. Mm. Mm. That has got to be one of the best breads I've ever tried. And I'm being honest here, guys. I'm actually being honest about this being good bread. It's almost perfect, really. Mm. I might give it a 10 for taste as well. Well, I'm thoroughly impressed. Actually, surprised me. Hmm. I guess because it's long ferment, it's giving the bread more time to, like, to kind of for the air bubbles to expand inside it and make it nice and fluffier. You know what? That's a ten as well. So overall, I'm gonna have to give this item. I might round it up to a 10 to be honest. I'm pretty happy with this item, guys. Pretty happy with this product. And if you want to read the ingredients, it's on here. And um, we'll just point it to the camera, make it easier for you guys to read this. But mainly it's just local unbleached white flour, filtered water, flossy salt, yeast, uh, no additives, no preservatives, does contain gluten, may contain traces. Of nuts. Oh, it's got semolina in it as well, but I'm assuming there's probably not a lot of semolina in there. So it might be might be safe for IBS sufferers because generally breads that are being fermented for longer are lower in FODMAPs. Uh, but it's not gluten free. So if you have celiac disease or a gluten intolerance, then you might want to look at something else. So now I'm just adding like a, to my videos like. I'm going to give like a heads up about allergens and, um, and FODMAPs and stuff in foods. But as long as you don't have celiac disease or gluten intolerance, this is good stuff. And I found it at Grow yeah, Grower's Lane. I think I've already said, so I'll reiterate, I found it at Grower's Lane in, I think it was Subiaco. It's close to the city. And, uh... Yeah, I think we we can wrap this up, guys. It's really good bread. Hmm. Well, I think we covered everything: price, authenticity, nutrition, ingredients, taste, smell, looks. Uh, for authenticity, I'll give that a ten as well. That's pretty good, fresh-made bread. I think they even have a restaurant in Fremantle as well. Or was that? It might be another brand. I'm not sure. I'll I'll take a look for you guys. Hmm. Cause some brand. This is a local made brand. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Have a great day. See ya.